Okay, so I'm going to go into a little background, just real quick. And this is going to be a video on how to use Recover It All Professional. First things first is that I am using it in Windows XP, which I can just double click on it and run it. But if you are in Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you're going to have to right click on it and run as, and there should be an option to run as administrator. Because we do a low level query of the drive, uh, Windows 7 and Windows Vista don't like that, so in order to allow the drives to be displayed properly in the software, just right click and run as administrator. That being said, we'll go ahead and move to Recover It All Professional. Now, when you open the software, what you're going to see on the left hand side is going to be the drives that are in the machine physically. So right now I have my boot drive and then I have a 6 gig drive hooked up via USB. A lot of times the USB drives will be displayed as unknown because when we query the drive the USB kind of stands in the middle of us talking to the USB drive. So what you want to do first is go ahead um, and try to find the partitions on the drive. So I'm going to double click on the affected drive and let it start the scan. Now it came right up and found the partition that I need. So what I'm going to do is go to recovery and terminate the scan once the scan has been terminated, I can then go over here to scan the logical drive. This is a huge time saver. If it finds the partition that you're looking for, there's no reason to sit through that first physical scan. So what we're going to do is select the logical drive, go up to recovery, and we want to try to do the fast logical scan. It's going to be a more accurate scan than the slow logical scan. Go ahead and click on fast logical scan. What it'll do is this drive is a FAT32 drive. If it was NTFS, it would start scanning the master file table. Right now what it's doing is it's loading the FATs in so that it then can treat the drive. Okay, and I'm back, and now it has finished treating that first partition, so we'll go ahead and open it up and see if we have data in here. Hello world, that's the only data on this drive, and so we can see that Recover It All went ahead and scanned the FAT and treated the drive. From here we'll be able to select the files, utilities, um, recovery, I'm sorry, and then copy mark files with directories. You don't generally want to copy them flat. And just put all the fol files into one folder called root on the drive. And copy my files flat. Go ahead and go to my computer. This is just going to be like any Windows Explorer type situation that you would have. So after we've copied the files, now on other situations you should um, it's not going to pop up right away or when you try doing the fast scan it's not going to do it uh, either due to file system corruption or the fact that it's missing certain elements of the file system that won't allow it to do a fast scan so in that situation you're going to have to do the slow scan on a fat drive you are going to get accurate readout here when you do the fast scan on a master file table NTFS drive you might get a lot of um, unlinked or orphan data that data is there because what happens is is that it's an orphan because there is no parent. So we don't know what the parent directories are because those master file table entries have been uh, removed or are corrupt. So in that case you'd have to use the slow scan. And the slow scan really is a slow scan. Could take in the realm of five to seven hours to complete one. And that's the general overview of Recovered All. The other things that you want to take a look at, the build partition record and build boot record, we're going to go over that in the class on how to do that. And I would prefer that you did it in WinHex. Um, you'll have much highly, higher likelihood of not causing problems. Now cloning the drive, it does work, but you're going to get another cloner that works a little bit faster and it's going to give you a better readout. And then wiping the drive. Now this is going to uh, wipe whatever drive you have active at the time. So you're going to want to make sure that you use this function um, that you don't, uh, you don't wipe the wrong drive. Other than that, um, you can use the find feature, but generally I was just giving you an under overview of how to run the software and also shortcuts like not using the slow scan. A lot of times people think the slow scan is, is a more accurate scan and that's not the case. And also to terminate the scan once you've found the logical drive that you're looking for.